following are the types of the questions which you can expect from exam point of view so first question is the diameter of the circle is graphed in the xy plane and has end points at minus 6 comma 7 and 12 comma minus 9 which of the following is the equation of the circle as i always say pause the video try to solve question without watching the solution if you don't know how to solve it then only look at the solution so i have a circle whose end points are the diameter of the circle whose diameter end points are given by minus 6 comma 7 and 12 comma minus 9 we know the standard form of equation of circle is x minus h whole square plus y minus k whole square is equal to r square. We need to find the center and radius. The center of the circle is 12 plus minus 6 by 2 which is 6 by 2 which is 3. 7 minus 9 by 2 minus 2 by 2 is minus 1. So it should be x minus 3 whole square plus y plus 1 whole square is equal to r square. So definitely option b is wrong and option c is also wrong. Either option A or D should be the answer. So now there are two ways. You can find the distance from center to any point on the circle which will give you the radius. Or you can plug in any one of the points. So I prefer the second method. I will plug in the point minus 6 comma 7. So minus 6 minus 3 whole square plus 7 plus 1 whole square is R square. 9 square is 81. Uh, 81 plus 64 is 145. Therefore R square is 145. So equation is x minus 3 whole square plus y plus 1 whole square is 145. D should be the correct answer. The next question is, a circle in the xy plane has an equation of x square plus y square minus 34x plus 60y plus 789 is 0. The y coordinate of the circle is minus 30. What is the possible x coordinate? You can pause the video, solve it. If you don't know, then you can see my solution. So let me convert it into the standard form. I can write it as x square minus 34x plus y square plus 60y is equal to minus 789. So add 17 square, add 30 square, add 17 square and add 30 square. So 17 square is 289 minus 500 plus 900 is 400 and this is x minus 17 whole square plus y plus 30 whole square it is given that y is minus 30 if i plug in y is minus 30 we get x minus 17 whole square is 400 x minus 17 is plus or minus 20 so if i take plus 20 x is 37 and if i take minus 20 x is minus 3 so these are the possible x values mostly they ask what is the possible positive x coordinate so it depends on what they are asking for. Here the answers are 37 or minus 3. Now let me proceed to question number 3. So question number 3 says that what is the length of the diameter of a circle whose equation is shown above? So again we should make it into a perfect square. So x square plus 5x plus something plus y square minus 8y plus something is equal to minus 20 so this is 5 by 2 whole square this is 4 square so 4 square is 16 5 by 2 whole square is 6.25 so this becomes x plus 5 by 2 whole square plus y minus 4 whole square is equal to 22.5 is 2.25 which is 1.5 whole square since the radius is 1.5 but they are asking the diameter, diameter is 2 times radius so diameter should be 3, hence 3 should be the answer. If we see the fourth question, a circle is graphed in the xy plane as centered at the point lies on the circle. So since they are given the center, equation should be x plus 9 whole square plus y minus 4 whole square is r square. The point minus 1 comma minus 2 lies so 8 square plus 6 square is r square so r square is 100 so equation should be x plus 9 whole square plus y minus 4 whole square is 100 which is option a a should be the correct answer last question they are given three points on the circle now they are asking us to find the equation of the circle so you can use this equation, you will get 3 unknowns, you can find them which should be too lengthy, which should be smart enough in the exam to solve question in less than 1 minute. So I don't prefer this method. The best method is plug in the values. 
since the circle passes through 0 comma 0 so definitely when i replace x with 0 y with 0 the equation should satisfy when i replace x 0 y 0 0 equal to 10 is meaningless 0 is equal to 10 is meaningless 0 is equal to 0 0 equal to 0 means either b or d should be the answer so now if i replace 1 comma 2 i get 2 into 1 is 2 plus 2 into 4 is 8 10, 10 minus 10 is 0 which is correct let me see in this 2 minus 8 minus 10 which is not equal to 0 so b should be the correct answer so process of elimination also works so finally this is what you need to learn to solve a question in less time the best way to solve the questions